everybody happy friday july 22nd wow um this actually marks two weeks since i started this uh, it was a friday two weeks ago when i started doing these video vlogs video blogs vlogs and um so that's pretty cool it's been consistent for two weeks i'm gonna try and keep it up um the thing about it is it's not really so much uh because I mean, it should be about helping provide value to other people, but <laughs> really it's, it's more for myself. I just, it's nice to have a place where I can just sort of, uh, you know, chat and randomly say stuff that I'm thinking about and not really feel like I'm being necessarily judged for it or anything, but just kind of, you know, get it out of my head and, and put it out there. It's kind of nice having, having this sort of, you know, platform to do that. And like I said before, whether people watch this or not, is sort of secondary to me. It's, it's nice to have the support and the accountability, but at the end of the day, it's more about just, um, uh, you know, having an outlet uh, for creativity and expression and thoughts. So I encourage you, if you have a vlog and you want to uh, do something like this, let me know. I'd like to check yours out. Um, I just did a huge purge of all the channels I'm subscribed to on YouTube. So now I've got like 10 channels. Before it was like 30 or 40. And I just wasn't watching most of them, so I, I, I closed them all out. And then I just watched it. I tried to focus on the ones that actually were A, positive, so they weren't just like negative channels with bad stuff. So a lot of comedy stuff, actually. And B, they um, were things that interest, things I was interested in, right? Um, anyway, here in Molokai, we're actually expecting some tropical storm or something. There's all these storm warnings. And, I mean, it's, it's sunny and, and, and beautiful right now, but... Um, supposed to be pretty I mean it's getting a little windy although not more windy than usual but it's supposed to be pretty intense I guess this weekend so we'll see what happens um, but right now I'm out here and I have about um, half an hour until my Tai Chi class starts people are gonna start showing up pretty soon um, so I'm just uh, here waiting and I came here a little early I uh, brought my laptop and did a little work on some design stuff which I don't need the internet for so I was just kind of getting out of the internet area and doing that and I realized oh I gotta do my vlog so that's why I'm here um, yeah so what am I gonna talk about let me think about that for a sec although I just talked for two and a half minutes about vlogging so that's my topic I'm gonna try I'm trying to keep these more succinct yeah obviously yesterday's was super short but I'm gonna try and keep these shorter and shorter whoa look at that dust storm see all that dust Wow, it's intense. Um, here, check that out. That's what I'm looking at right now. That, the, see, the ocean is like 100 feet from me. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> and then look at this tree. This is a really intense tree. Look at those branches. That's like crazy. Um, so, Tai Chi class is pretty cool. You know, I, it's interesting. I was approached by someone earlier today, again, about teaching wushu he wants me to teach wushu to him and his family and um it's interesting because a lot of i got the impression initially that <coughs> a lot of people on molokai are much more into grappling and wrestling and, and mma type of stuff which i don't do at all uh i'm all forms competition type sport wushu right so but then uh, lately people have been saying yeah you know we, we got that stuff down we, but we don't feel very nimble or we're not really good at, we don't do much deep stretching or we don't feel very like light on our feet. So we want to get, do more of that kind of stuff, more like forms of work or, you know, work on ourselves, not just partner work and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting that that's sort of a transition that I've been seeing since I got here. Um, there's actually some really good fighters on this island, like people who really know their stuff, um, like as far as grappling and wrestling and MMA stuff goes. Um, and there's a guy here, Gregerson, who's like really good at Indonesian martial arts, or at least based on my conversations with him, I can tell he's really good. Um, he had like a, um, a demonstration or a talk about it last week at the library. I had no idea that he was doing this talk. I really wish I'd, I knew it, so I could have gone and checked it out. Um, but that would have been cool. Indonesian martial arts, yo. Um, uh, like Silat and stuff like that, right? He knows all the stick and knife fighting. He knows some Kali as well from the Philippines. Um, woo, windy. So um, anyway, I hope you can hear me. So uh, so it might come to pass where I'm actually going to start teaching Wushu again. And I told, the, told uh, my friend um, that even though... I'm going to try and get out of the wind a little bit. That even though... Uh, I'm not training myself in Wushu right now. I don't have a plan to do it until next year. 
I'm sort of taking a break from wushu, focusing on other aspects of my health. Um, that uh, I'm, that doesn't mean I can't teach someone else wushu. So, like even when I was up in in the Seattle area in Mount Vernon, hi Jeanette, um, I was teaching, but I wasn't really training that much. Although I still injured myself, <laughs> but um, I think I can work on that. Wow, what happened? This got super windy out here. I'm sort of protected with this tree, but I don't even know if you can hear me or not. Maybe I'll put this up here. I hope I hope you can hear me and that it's not too crazy. Woo! I think the storm just hit. <laughs> it's still sunny though. Anyway, uh, so I think I might might start doing some wushu stuff, maybe twice a week, just you know to help out and. And uh, help them out because him and his whole, him and his family, he, he, his wife, his kids, they want to all do it together. And uh, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, they're gonna check their schedule. I'm gonna check mine. See if we can make it work or not. It'd be pretty cool though. Um, uh, and if we do, then I'll definitely take some video of, the, of that because the place where, that we'd be training uh, at the fish pond is just beautiful. It's amazing. So it's one of the only uh, working fish ponds in Hawaii, which is uh, cool in itself. But anyway, uh, that's it for today. The wushu thing's kind of cool. It's just weird how in the last month I've been getting all these people coming up to me about doing wushu. Um, go figure. So speaking of which, uh, Taiji is about to start. So I'm going to get ready for that and uh, think about what I'm going to teach today. I think we'll do brush knee push step application. On Monday we did uh, the uh, part the wild horse's main application and they really like that they like learning the application of the move I, I mean I showed it to some of them before but I think some of the ones who hadn't learned it practicing it it helped them kind of understand how to use their hips and and to sink a little more so anyway we'll probably do that uh, since that's one of the next moves in the 24 uh, anyway blah 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 so it's getting windy I'm gonna say goodbye hope you all have a great weekend. I'll talk to you tomorrow and keep on keeping on.